Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing. So, we've got this box right here, of course. Um, we're gonna open it up and see what we got in here. And of course, what we got in here is some Bakugan, man. So, yeah, uh, got a few Bakugan things in here, and just gonna split them up into, obviously, different unboxings, you know. Hey, gotta go in the depth and show you guys just what we've got here, man. And it's really, really hype. Okay, so we're going to start it off with, uh, let's see. I guess we'll start it off with this pack right here. So we got this pack. It is this awesome Bakugan Armored Alliance Aquas Gilator Ultra 3 pack. So yeah, man, we got Gilator in Aquas with this one. So this would be like, what, wave three, four, something, something like that, you know. Uh, just even like the wave system is pretty wild. But yeah, I guess it'll be like kind of wave uh, three, maybe. Uh, but still, it looks so, so sick, dude. All the Bakugan in here. So I guess we're just going to check out the back. Actually, I'll show off the top. Hi, uh, we got Hydrus there. Event is Hydrus. It's a core Hydrus. Then we got Aqua's Gilator Ultra, of course. And then that looks like Ryurezu, man. So this is the first Ryurezu I'm getting. So it's Pyrus Ryurezu. That's so, so sick. All right. So now let's check out the back. Okay. Here we go. So we obviously got the Bakugan Ultra, the Bakugan Cores, Ability Cards, Character Cards, all that good stuff. Then they show off the stadium and the Battle Arena at the bottom. But, yeah, dude, so hopefully uh, these Bakugan are pretty dang strong. Can't wait to see just how strong they are and how they're going to switch up things with the game. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, man. And like I said, that artwork looks so sick. All right, so here we go. I'm going to kind of reptar it because why the heck not? And also, they're using, like, the curved sides. Maybe it's, like, a way later wave when they uh, switch it to the round because, you know, obviously they sent, like, uh, the diamonds a bit ago, and they had it where they were rounded, actually. Um, so the rounded edges. Maybe it'll be the wave after this, where they start the rounded edges, or maybe that's a prototype thing. Not honestly sure. I think it's probably, like, they ha they just switched to the rounded edges, but it's further along with the season where they really start showing that off. But yeah, and I'm kind of reptar in this because I'm just trying to get it open. Okay, there we go. And got my garbage totally gonna need that you know but yeah it's funny because i'm unboxing and also getting ready to pack because you know in the process of like moving and such it's it's a really wild time period so i'm doing unboxings and also boxing things up at the same time you know uh -huh. but yeah so so love me a lot of stuff's going on but yeah anyways uh put the cards off to the side i guess we'll look at the sheet real quick like the instruction sheet uh yeah might as well look at it uh to see if they added any Bakugan to this list. So it shows off Gilator. And oh, yo, do, 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 they did. And they have some of the fusions on here. Dude, that's huge. Okay, so it shows, this is going to show future stuff, guys. So anybody who's wondering what's going to be coming out, uh, this is what it'll show off. Oh, I wasn't sure if the camera smudged a little bit, but yeah. Okay, so going to show off everything with this. Just got to make sure it's focused. Okay, so got Ramparian, of course, Drago, Batrix. Um, Enoch, Halcor, Trox, Nilius, and Pegatrix, and Cyrus with this, and also Treteris, Gilator. Um, but after that, we see some fusion Bakugan. So we're getting in Fusion Force territory, or at least they're showing it off. Halcor and Serpentis are going to get a combined version, and there's two of them. It seems like uh, Darkest Arliss, I think. Like Darkest and Arliss, and maybe two different versions of it, or and Aquas and Arliss, too. Dude, that's sick. And then we got um, Hydrus and Trino. So Trino's going to be returning. So hype about that, man. Uh, I guess kind of spoilers with this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pegatrix and Goreen. Goreen also returning. Dude, that's so sick. Trox and Nobilius as well uh, being a combo. Drago and Auxilator, which is one of the ones I'm definitely big time hyped about because it just looks so cool, dude. But yeah, those are some of the combos. That is nuts, man. That's so, so wild. That's so cool. Um, and yeah, show some of the combos. Chaos, Pyrus, Pyrus, Darkest, Darkest, Aquas, Aquas, Ventus, Ventus, Chaos, Chaos, Arliss, Pyrus, Arliss, Darkest, Arliss, Aquas, Arliss, Ventus, Arliss. So yeah, definitely combining Arliss big time with this and showing some Arliss. 
uh, influence. Hopefully they do so with the cards too, because I want to see like our list get some big time strong cards, because I really want to see a buff in our list for sure, because our list is just so, so cool. And, you know, it has that balance factor with it, because it shows uh, how it maintains order over Vestroia and everything in the other factions and includes abilities of the other factions with it. But we just need more cards, because I want to make more mono Arliss decks. You guys already know I love Arliss. <laughs> but yeah, so Auxilator, Trox, Cycloid, Maxodon. So showing off Maxodon with this Ryu Rezu on here. See Moga on here as well, and it's in darkest. Barbatra, and then we got Howlcore and Ramparian, Hydrus and Batrix, uh, Trox and Cyrus, Hydrus and Trino, Drago and Treteris. Pegatrix and Gillator, Nilius and Enoch, that's gonna look wild, dude, look at that, Trox and Nobilius, and Fangzor and Mantanoid, dude, wow, Fangzor and Mantanoid, you can see them, like, how they both combine together for sure, that's just so, so wild, man, but yeah, Drago and Treteris, am I the only one that thinks that Drago and Treteris, that design, looks so much like Leonidas of like the old Bakugan game. Like look at the arms, the head, even like the kind of wings that go up and the legs. Dude, it looks so much like it, man. Maybe they paid homage to Leonidas and they're like, yeah, there you go. Like Leonidas, this is the closest thing you'll get to him. We might not get an actual one because obviously like the copyright and stuff and it's a reboot, but still. That's so cool. That's so, so cool, man. But yeah, that list. Man, oh, okay, all right, I'm glad I looked at the list. That that alone shows, like, some of the stuff that's going to be coming out, and that's really, really hype. Okay, so now let's get into the actual Bakugan. And really hype about this, because Gilator has so much paint on it. Yeah, man, look at all that sky blue. Oof, oof, looks so great. All right, got to get Rai Rezu out of there. And also Hydra, so I'll probably say Rai Rezu for last, because the one that's the newest out of this. We've seen the others in the ball form, just the different factions, but yeah, you know, I'll go in detail with them. Okay, so first things first, let's get into, I guess, one of the cards, and that being uh, the Gate Trainer card. Obviously, practicing rolls. Can't wait for, like, uh, Fusion Force territory, because then they're going to start focusing big time on just, like, Gate cards being for the standard way of playing, and then the cards and the cores being for the pro way of playing, you know. It shows they're, like, kind of slowly easing into it, uh, for sure, and Fusion Force... Uh, Fusion Force is going to be when they really, really kickstart it, it seems like. But, yeah. Okay, so there is the Gate Trainer card. Practice your rolls. And then we got the core. So we got a Magic Shield here. Uh, minus 500, big time trap. Um, then we got Helix here. Minus 200, minus 2, another trap. A couple traps in here. Plus 150 and plus 1 for the Fist. That's a pretty good one. Uh, got the Shield, plus 150. That's okay. It's not the best Fist. Uh, not Fist, uh, Shield. That's not the best Shield, you know. Um. That's like the level of a fist, though. Um, then we got this fist right here. Plus two. Adds a little bit of damage. And then plus 250, plus three. That is a really nice flame fist, though. So, yeah. He's got a couple pretty good cores out here and some pretty good trap ones, too. So, yeah, man. Okay. Now, let's get into it. So, Aquas, Gilator, Ultra. You can see the jaw right there. That sky blue. Love it. Especially on the arms and on the back. Get that out of there. Plastic strip. But just all the paint. That's one thing I love about Gilator is how much paint they apply to it with a secondary color. Really makes it pop, dude. And that's why Gilator is honestly one of my favorite Ultras at the current moment. And plus the size of it. It's just so, so cool, man. Then it's got the legs right there. The claws are orange. And they're manual and such. But yeah, for now, just fold them up. You guys know how uh, Gilator looks. And then got the aqua symbol right there so way you close it head back arms in it's also got b power 600 so right out of the gate it's pretty pretty decent i mean if it has that magic shield it's getting up to 1250 and that'll be pretty nice man so yeah pretty strong aqua's bakugan um but yeah just fold that all in you basically just like put the arms in and fold it up roll that bad boy up and that is what it looks like in the ball form aqua's gilator ultra looking so so cool dude really really dig it okay so now it's time to get into the cores so here we go we'll start it off with hydras because we've seen hydras before but ventus uh hydras ventus core hydras we go get that spin rolling hey got it man is it strong to pick up two no nah, it's not but still looks really really sick i love how much paint they put on uh the core hydras you know with that lime green looks really cool and then the regular green with it a little bit of yellow and obviously the stubby little body of Hydrus. So, uh, yeah, it looks really cool. And the B power is 400. 
But yeah, hopefully he has a pretty good Evo with it. You know, that's just one thing I hope with a lot of the Bakugan. Because the Evos are what keep balance with things. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Are some Evos stronger than others? Yeah. But they also keep balance and make it where you can use a lot of different Bakugan. And that's why I aim to show off is just like as many Bakugan as possible. And how they can be used with the decks. Not just focusing on like five certain Bakugan. Because, you know, there's like now... If you combine both seasons, honestly, about, what, three? Going on maybe 400 Bakugan. So that's a lot of different Bakugan you could use for decks and such. So, yeah, you know, want to show people what they could do with what they have. That's always been one of the main purposes and such. But, yeah, obviously, focus on some competitive stuff. But still, showing off how each Bakugan is special and how they could be used. But, yeah, so that is Hydrus in the ball form. Looks really sick. Obviously, just arms back and then you just close it, you know, and the head in. Yeah, man, overall looks really, really sick. And then last but not least, we got this bad boy right here. So the debut of this Bakugan, that being Ryu Rezu. So all the orange right there, got the green on top, and just looks so sick. That orange and the green, you know. Um, not as much paint as the other Bakugan, but it still looks really, really cool in the ball form. And I can't wait to see it like in other factions like Ventus and Aralus and such, but... Here we go. Three, two, one, and Bakugan Brawl. And wow, my, <laughs> it got stuck to my finger. Oh, oh wow, it tried to get that one. Okay, I'm just gonna aim for the center. And boom, hey, there we go. So there is Rai Rezu. That's the opening action for it, just a little pop open. I wonder if it's gonna get an ultra. I mean, it should, because it would be cool to see how this thing would look as an ultra. But it's basically like a kind of grasshopper monster. Um, I guess the best way of saying it, but yeah, so you can see the three heads for it, like the arms and such, the one head right there. You definitely get Vice Rocks vibes from it, just for, like, the ball form, you know what I mean? But, yeah, got the orange in the front, got the legs right there. Yeah, especially how the legs are. You definitely get Vice Rocks uh, vibes for it, core Vice Rocks. Um, and then the arms. So, yeah, seems like it got a little inspiration from Vice Rocks for this one. But still, you can see all the different uh, heads with it. Just so, so cool. And I guess, yeah, not arms, just heads. I don't think Rai Razor actually has any uh, arms with it. It's just got the three heads, but still. Um, looks really, really cool. So the way you close it is just legs down, uh, the heads in, and then just fold it together. So, yeah. And I think its B-Power said it was 300. So, yeah, not the most with it. If it has the magic shield, it can get up to, like, 950, which that would be really, really cool. Um, but, yeah, only one Bakugan has the magic shield, though. So I guess the cards will show how strong you the Bakugan is. Like, each of them is. But, yeah, man. So, here we go. We got Aqua Soldier, 4 cost, plus 6 damage, and you could draw 2 cards with it. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Cycloid and, uh, is that Vice Rocks or what? Kind of looks like Vice Rocks. Or it might be the combo of, like, Vice Rocks and uh, another Bakugan. But, yeah, I don't know. It, it makes me think of, like, Vice Rocks and Raya Rezu combined a little bit. Just the way it's shaped, but don't know. We'll see. We'll see with time. Um, then we got Baku Spin Blast, uh, three cards, and also Fusion Force cards are included with this, as you can see, like the F, the double F down there, Fusion Force cards. But Baku Spin Blast, it's three cost. You could draw a card, and you get the double strike, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and Drago smacking the crap out of that Bakugan right there. Uh, yeah. And then we got Baku Fuser plus whoa. Plus a thousand for cost. Dude, they are adding some crazy strong cards, man. Plus a thousand with four costs. That is a nice, man. This will definitely be useful in like Aquas Ventus for sure, dude. Like, yeah, plus a thousand and four cost. <laughs> yeah. You already know. Okay, so we got Pyrus Raya Rezu here. Look at at that bad boy look at that artwork dude this looks so cool but b power 300 damage of three and it has a regular fist and also a shield with it so it honestly doesn't get that strong hopefully they make a pretty good evo for it uh but yeah so it's crazy because you can see it says av so it's armored elite it's like an armored elite uh card or such um but fusion force cards with it that makes sense but yeah um, but it can get max of like 700, so that's actually not that much. So hopefully it has a pretty good Evo with it. Um, then we got Gilator here, and it is the one that has the magic shield. So it's 602, and the artwork for it looks really cool. But it can get up to 1250, so that's, yeah, it's pretty decent. Uh, yeah, pretty dang strong. And plus it's just stomping on the ground at nighttime. The artwork looks really, really cool. 
and then we got hydras here so 401 and it has a helix as well as a flame fist with it so max can get up to like a thousand so a thousand but it wouldn't have any damage with it so you just need some damage cards with it so yeah man but overall it can be pretty strong just got to make sure you get some damage with that bad boy and also that artwork looks really really cool so yeah guys um that's basically everything for the review. I'll just do some opening action with uh, Gilator real quick. And let's see how it looks when it opens. So, 3, 2, 1, Bakugan Brawl puts a mustard on it. Hey, That roll, though. And honestly, if it opened that way, that will be a really, really nice way. Because it's definitely picking up two with that. Because it's got a strong enough magnet. Yeah. For sure. As soon as you see that, like, that's, that's a crazy, crazy uh, stand in a Brawl. Because you get the bonus of both cores with that so yeah man and it's definitely got a strong enough magnet doesn't have a strong enough magnet for three that's what i'm wondering um if it does that's not no 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 but it could pick up two like really easily can one get stuck underneath as well i wonder um it doesn't seem like it unless you get like really really lucky yeah it doesn't seem like it but yeah man anyways guys that is it for this review on this awesome, awesome Bakugan Armored Alliance Aquas Gilator Ultra 3-pack. Ryu Razor's here, and also got the Ventus Hydras, which is pretty cool. But yeah, and it's, it's just starting to show off how strong some of these cards are, man. It's wild. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I flow daily, putting in that work, currently in the process of moving and doing a bunch of other stuff too, but still keeping that content rolling for you guys. You already know. But yeah, and can't wait to make some... Uh, deck profiles with these Bakugan, you know, just got to wait for their evos and such uh, Gonna be waiting a little bit because they're like fusion force, but it's all good But yeah, and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video So yeah guys until next time it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching until then Stay awesome and Bakugan brawl. I'm up out of here fusion force is gonna completely turn everything on its head. I mean <laughs> bro <laughs> but uh, Baku Fuser already showed that.